you guys I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these beautiful boho autumn leaves earrings they're easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make them by yourself If you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and you help me so much by liking, sharing and commenting. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. You could check my second channel with the fast clips, but now let's get started with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are four colors of 11 o seed beads or you could use 10 o seed beads if you want. And uh, I'm using here earring findings. And this is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. This is size 10 beading needle scissors. And these are pliers that are not obligatory. I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads. Okay. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm going to start my work by picking up 30 of these beautiful dark green beads. Okay, and I have my 30 beads and I want to make a knot here. I will take them really carefully and uh, I will take my tail thread and I will go twice here around this loop. Then I will pull it really slowly and gently because otherwise if something goes wrong here I should start over, okay? When I pull I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started the knot from. And now guys what I want to do is make one more knot. Okay. Just like this. You see this is what I have now I will go here through some beads in this direction and I'm going to pick up a yellow bead, an orange bead and a dark green bead. Okay, this is what I have. Then I'm going to take one of my earring findings and I'm going through it. And I will slide those down. Now I will pick uh, the same sequence but in the other way around. A dark green, an orange and a an yellow. Okay, this is what I have. And I will go back through this green bead that I'm exiting out of in the inner circle. Okay, I'm going through it. Just like this. Okay, now I have this. Then I'm going only through the yellow bead here. I'm skipping the orange bead and I'm going through these two green beads. Then I will skip this orange and go through the yellow and through the green. Okay, now I have this and I will make one more reinforcement. Okay, now I have this. Okay, and now in this direction I will go through six beads. One, two, three, four, five, six. I want to go out through six beads. Okay. 
okay and here guys as I'm exiting through this sixth bead I'm going to take one seed bead of the light green color and I'm going back like this and then through this then guys I want to take two of this same color and I'm going back like this in circle okay then I'll go through one of those two newly added beads and I will start the familiar herringbone stitch if you don't know it don't worry it's really easy it's basically adding two beads in each row exiting out of this bead I'm going through the other one adding two then I go in this direction with my thread and back through these two okay and I want to make a third row of her herringbone stitch here okay exiting out of this one going through the other one then like this and through these two beads then three yellows and go in this direction through those beads you see adding three yellows at the top here then through this green bead and through the one that I added first through this single bead here okay now what I want to take are five yellow beads okay I have my five here and as I'm exiting through this bead I'm going here in this yellow like this then I'm going in the next two yellows and five okay five now what I want to do is go through four beads in this direction one two I I'm already been through two beads and now through two more one two three four beads okay and as I'm here I'm going to take just one yellow bead and I will go back in circle through this bead okay then I will go backwards through this yellow and I'm going to make the same herringbone stitch you see I'm taking two after this single one and from here on I'm starting the herringbone but this time here I did three rows of herringbone and here I will do four rows okay and I'll show you faster the next two rows they are absolutely the same okay and now I want to add three orange beads go like this drain through all of those yellows and through this yellow one here and here guys instead of five beads like I took here because here I have four rows I will take take six beads so here I have three rows and five beads and here I have four rows and six beads this is the only difference 
between the two elements okay now I have three and three six go like this and like this okay six and I'm going like this and then back to this green that I start the whole thing from okay guys and now I want to go through five beads one two three four five one two three four five beads I'm going through five beads and from here on I will start another element I will start it with orange color inside this time. Okay, I'm taking one first. And now I'll show you how I'm starting the herringbone. And now I will do four more rows of herringbone, which are five rows of herringbone in total. Okay, and as I have these five rows of herringbone, I will take three light green beads and as I'm exiting from here, I will go in the other orange. Then I'm going through all of those beads. then through this orange and now I'm going to take this time seven of these beautiful green beads okay I have my seven and I'm going through this green here skipping the ones at the top and seven more okay like this then i will go in this direction okay and in this direction i want to go go out of five beads after the one where I attached my element so I'm counting one two three four five I'm exiting out of the fifth beat here you see fifth beat I'm not counting this one that I'm attaching my element but I'm counting one two three four five here it is and now I think it's time to cut this tail thread because it's on my way all the time okay now I will make this element I will show you only the beginning and then the final result because I'm sure you will be able to make it by yourself if not you could rewind the video and see how I'm making it and repeat it here okay uh, just to tell you I have one two three four rows of herringbone and one two three four five six six beads so four rows of herringbones three at the top six from here and six from here okay I'll do this off camera and I'll be back 
Okay guys, and I'm here where I'm adding my last six beads from this row. And I'm going through this yellow bead here. Like this. And then I will go in this direction. Okay. And I want to be four beads away from this bead where my element is attached. One, two, three, four. So I will be at the same place here. There will be a symmetry. And now what I want to do, guys, here is take just one light green bead, attach it here then go back through it and in my next step i want to take two light green beads going like this and like this and now i will repeat the same element three rows of herringbone stitch which means i should add two more then three here at the top and then five beads from each side okay i'll do this off camera and i'll be back okay guys and i'm here at my last step where i'm adding my last element from this row and now what i want to do is find a place to make a knot and cut my thread Okay, let's say I will make my knot here and how I'm doing it, I'm making here a loop and I'm going once, then I'm going second time through this loop I've made and I pull and then I go through the following seed bead and I cut my thread. Okay, and now my autumn leaves boho earrings are ready. Okay, guys, and now my boho autumn leaves earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button if you still haven't. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. You could also check description for a full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials, mainly on my Facebook and Instagram pages. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.